Hello everyone. This is your County President Commissioner, Julie Wheeler. Just to share with you a few uh, tips and techniques uh, regarding um, the balloting process here as we approach the general election. Um, for those of you that have requested a mail-in ballot, it'll come in the mail and it'll look like this from the exterior. It has several pieces of information inside that are all very important. First is an instruction sheet. Second is your actual ballot. Look like this. This is a sample ballot. That's why it has sample on it. This isn't a live ballot. The ballot will come in there as well as a secrecy envelope and a mailing envelope. The mailing envelope does have uh, prepaid postage on it, so um, you don't need to drop it off. You can just put it right back out in the mail. You've heard a lot about what's a naked ballot. So what a naked ballot is, is a ballot that comes back to elections headquarters that's not in the secrecy envelope. So it's very important you as a voter put your ballot inside the secrecy envelope, do not mark this envelope, and then stick that inside your mailing envelope. Uh, your mailing envelope will have a barcode on it up at the top on the return address. Looks like this. Um, that's a unique identifier to you. When that comes back here to, to us at the Board of Elections, we scan that and you're in the system as having received your ballot. So very important that the ballot goes in here, then gets affixed in here, and you sign today's date, the date you signed the ballot, and your address and just stick it in the mail. We do have drop boxes. We have a drop box that's located um, outside the front of the County Administration Building at 28 East Market Street. That's available every day from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Should you not want to mail your ballot back in the mail, you could drop it off there. You are only permitted to drop off your own ballot. In addition, Saturday, this coming Saturday, October 24th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., the ballot box will also be outside for drop-off, as well as Sunday, November 1st, from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m., and then on Election Day, November 3rd, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., the ballot box will also be out there um, should you like to drop off your ballot. Uh, for those of you that are mailing your ballot back, again, it's postage prepaid on the envelope. You need to ensure that that you have that in the mail and postmark no later than November 3rd. Uh, the county is permitted to receive and count ballots up to November 6th, which is the Friday after the election, but the ballot must be postmarked November 3rd. In addition, if you've gotten a mail-in and or absentee ballot and you've changed your mind and you want to vote at the poll, it's very important that you bring the entire contents of this envelope with you to the polling location. If you bring everything with you, uh, what will happen is they will take this information, they will destroy it, they will have you sign a declaration, and you can vote in person like you would um, any other election. If you show up and you don't have your information with you and you still want to vote in person, you can do so, but you'll need to do so by provisional ballot. So the best thing is if you change your mind, bring all the contents with you um, to your polling location, you will be allowed to vote in person after you sign a declaration. We have a bunch of FAQs on our website, www.yourcountypa.gov. Should answer most of your questions. In addition, if you don't know your polling location, thanks to the Planning Commission who's developed an interactive map, which is also on our website, you can go in there, you can put your address in the top right-hand corner, and it will show you your polling location. The Board of Elections and our election staff and county employees are working round the clock to ensure a safe, seamless, and efficient election. Thanks for joining.